Now your Storm Track 7 forecast on KWWL. Our Chief Meteorologist Mark Schnackenberg, some light snow overnight, accumulations about an inch, maybe some spots up around two inches, but generally about an inch of snow expected. Some locations even in our northwestern counties may see the less than an inch of snow, but in general we're talking about an inch of snow here tonight. Here's future track showing the snow moving across the area during the late evening into the overnight hours. It was out of the area by 2 o'clock in the morning, so this doesn't last very long, but just enough to get the roads a little slick, especially the bridges and overpasses. Uh, hopefully by the time sunrise comes tomorrow morning, uh, conditions will improve. If not, we'll have to watch out early in the morning just as the sun comes up. A couple of spots on the roads could be a bit slick. But as we head through the day tomorrow, we've got a lot of sunshine. Temperatures will warm into the upper 30s and the lower 40s. As we get towards the later part of the afternoon, clouds will slowly move back into the picture and look for a mostly cloudy to cloudy sky as we head through the overnight hours, but dry. As we look towards Wednesday, cloudy sky in the morning. Now we'll see a chance for some light snow spread into the region as we get towards lunchtime. The leaning edge may have a little bit of rain snow mix before it changes over to all snow. Farther to the south near the Quad Cities, that's a, where the rain snow line is expected. Now, look at what we have here. By evening hours, our northwestern counties, little to no snow. From Waterloo to about Elkader, south and east, we have some light snow. Now, watch this line right in about here. Watch what happens during the evening hours. It shifts a little bit south and east. So anything north and west, again, not a whole lot, if anything, when it comes to snow. But still, some persistent snow farther to the south and east. That does include Dubuque. Cedar Rapids and Iowa City. So again, right in about here, we'll take it through the rest of the night. Notice snow from Dubuque to Cedar Rapids and southward. Areas north and west, not a whole lot of snow. So the roads are going to be slick in our southeastern counties. Your morning commute at this point. Again, we're still a couple of days out, so this could change. This could all move south and east, and we get no snow around here for Wednesday and Thursday. And it also could shift a little farther north and west. And everybody deals with some of that snow. But something will continue to track. The storm does have the potential for some snow. So as we get towards lunchtime here on Thursday, still from Dubuque to Monticello, Cedar Rapids, snow north and west, it is dry. This will all move out of the area as you get towards trick-or-treat evening. Now, temperatures will be near 30 degrees. A little bit of a breeze will push wind chills down into the upper 20s. Look for dry conditions. But keep in mind, Dubuque to Cedar Rapids, Iowa City, that area has had a lot of snow or has a couple of inches of snow. It's been snowing for Wednesday night into the day on Thursday. So there will be some slick spots in those locations while areas north and west may be more on the dry side. So again, we'll track this storm system as it gets a little bit closer, get more details on how it's going to impact you Wednesday and Thursday. For tonight, that light snow will be around the area. Temperatures will be in the 20s, maybe an inch, inch and a half in some spots. Could be an isolated two inch amount, especially in our southeastern counties. Near 40 tomorrow, so whatever snow is out there will be melting with some of that sunshine. Normal highs should be in the middle 50s. We are nowhere near that with your city by city forecast. Temperatures will be in the upper 30s to near 40 degrees tomorrow. Middle to upper 30s on Wednesday. Thursday, lower to middle 30s. And then as we look towards Friday into the upcoming weekend, not much of a warm up, only getting into the low 40s here on Sunday. And into Monday, overnight lows will drop down into the 20s. Could be potentially uh, Friday morning, maybe down into the teens for overnight lows. But looking at dry conditions, though, Friday into the upcoming weekend.